Hey guys, it's Ben and welcome back to episode 30. Hmm, this might be 40. It might be 39 or 40. If it's 40, good. We made it to 40. If it's 39, next episode. But anyway, there's, <laughs> there's been a lacking of tutorials recently, so I uh, thought I'd just address this. Um, that's because I've been away. I did mention I'd been away. I mentioned last time I'm going away. Don't expect any more videos until a uh, certain date or something. I said something. I definitely said something. I always say something and I'm going away. Anyway, today we're going to be doing about muting players, which is something was requested by somebody who likes muting players. So we're going to be doing that. Um, it's fairly simple. So basically what we want to do is just want to do an if uh, command label equals ignore case uh, mute. Uh, then we want to make in our listener, we want to make a hash map. So let's do public final hash map, and it's going to take a string and an array list block and block. I cannot spell. There we go. And if we just copy that, and we're going to call this muted players, and it's going to equal a new hash map with the same type arguments because we're checking it. That's what it's called. Checking. I think. Um, anyway, and then let's make an event handler. And public void on player chat. And then uh, it, it's now like async async player chat event um, event. And that's taken over from player chat event, which has been deprecated for some reason. So if we just do player player equals event dot get player, um, and now we want to do if muted players dot contains key player dot get name. Then what we want to do is event dot set cancelled true. So it won't be sending the message, and if that doesn't actually try, want to try catch exception e. So basically, we're going to try and cancel the event, and if that doesn't work, then we're going to do event dot set message, and then just nothing. Uh, I prefer using that to to putting null in there, just because it's something something I do. So uh, we're going to try and uh, cancel the event, and if that doesn't work, we're just going to set the message to nothing. Um, so, so that's how that's going to work. And now, in our command label, so if the command is mute, then we want to do um, a string, or hmm, we want to do player, player equals um, uh, get server dot get player args zero. So what that's doing is it's going to get the player um, in the server that. Uh, is in is in the arguments the first argument. So if player dot is online. So if the player is online, we want to do uh, what did I call it? Uh, you want to get the 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 uh, variable to your bucket listener. So mine's called bl. So bl dot muted players dot put, um, and we want to put player dot get name. Okay, and we just want to return true. What's I going to put? Oh yeah, and then uh, colon, uh, colon, uh, colon, colon, and return true. So we've done that. So otherwise, if the player isn't online, it's just going to go to here. So if return means it's going to break out of this. So it's return to true. It's done. Um, and what we want to do now is here. We want to say um, to the player who's done the command. So sender dot send message um, um, player not online and also we want to check uh, below here if args dot length is equal to one we want to do all of this and at the end just return true and there we want to return false so I'm doing all those return things just because it's good programming to break out of loops and stuff so if the args length equals one, then actually that needs to go. Um, if the args length equals one, then we're gonna it's gonna do whatever's inside here, and whatever happens, it's gonna break out of this loop. 
So otherwise, if it isn't true, it's it's not going to be inside of here. So we want to say to the sender, so sender dot send message uh, arguments must be uh, greater than one or something forward slash mute player name. So so like that. So if we just go into our config, not config. I always do this. Plugin dot yml. And we want to put mute and just remove that. Um, close that. And actually, um, we want to check if they're they're in it, if the player's in it. So if the player's in line, and if uh, bl dot muted players dot contains key player dot get name, we want to do uh, bl dot muted players dot remove player dot get name. So, if they're already in it, we want to remove them from it, and then we just want to return true. Actually, no, we don't here. We want to do an else statement and just bring it around that. There we go. Okay, so if they are already in the hash map for where they're muted, we're just going to remove them from it, and otherwise, if they are in the hash map, if they're not in the hash map, we're just going to put them in it. So, let's go file export jar file and let's call it um, muting plugin dot jar save that finish it and I'll see you guys in the game and okay so uh, out of sync okay um, okay uh, cancel next um, Muting plugin dot jar. Save it. No errors. Cool. I'll see you guys in the game. We're still, we're still going. Okay. Never mind. I'll fix it. Don't worry. All right. So we're in the game, and you see, I can talk. I can say hello. My name is Ben. Okay. So now, if I do forward slash mute, it's going to say absolutely nothing. And the reason behind that. Is, oh my god, what did I do? Um, uh, if I do plugins, I, I think I may have started the wrong server. Um, what did I? You know, I'll, I'll be right back. I'll figure out what I did. Alright, guys, so I'm back and. Uh, oh, it's loud, isn't it? Let's turn off the sound. Okay, so I'm in and basically I just updated my. um. I just updated my bucket, so let's see what happens if I do for such mute. It says I'm going to be greater than one mute player name, so you see I can talk. And if I do mute uh, bench three, it's gonna not say I can talk. So you see I'm trying to type, uh, but I can't. And then if I do mute bench three, turn it online. Oh, mute bench three. Um, you see, I for some reason cannot talk. Um, can I reload the server? I can reload the server. Um, so if the player is online and if the meter contains player dot get name, then we're going to remove them. And if they are, so if they, if this contains, so if 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 the hash map already contains the player's name, we're going to remove it. But otherwise, we're going to put it in. And actually, let's. This is. Uh, I. I think I messed up. I put in a return thingy. Um, let's just. Let's just add else statements and see if that changes. I mean, it shouldn't. But um, players not online. Um, and again, let's just add an else statement here. Um, so in here. If it contains player's name, we're going to set this cancel to true. And actually, let's just do a little bit of debugging. So system dot out dot print line uh, s or something. Uh, and this file export next and finish. So wait for that to happen. Let's reload the server. And let's do mute bench three. 
can't talk, nothing's been printed out here, mute bench 3, I can talk, and that's got printed out there, okay cool, so that is good, so I, I can talk, you see, and then I mute myself, so mute bench 3, and I can't talk, so thanks for watching guys, I'll see you guys next time.